Yo, man, I don't think they heard you. Won't you tell them what your name is? Mr. Madalena, Mr. Jack Madalena. Mr. Madalena, Mr. Jack Madalena. What's up my BJJ homies? I kid I kid this is not BJJ Scout, just a joke for my combat sport nerds. Jack Della Maddalena, JDM, is one of the hottest prospects in the UFC. He started his pro career 0-2 losing to Darcy Bendy by sub and Alden Bates by technical knockout. JDM is now on a 14-5 win streak, 11 of those wins by TKO the other two by submission. He is currently on a 4 fight winning streak in the UFC with all four coming by way of stoppage. He has 5 knockdowns in 4 UFC fights. The fight that got him into the UFC was a blistering KO in a rematch versus Alden Bates. The only decision on his record is from the Angelou's fight on DWCS. Enter Winky Wright. JDM recently accredited Wink's defense for his current streak. Winky Wright was a fantastic boxer known for his defensive high guard. These days people speak about him as an underrated master who lost fights at times because he was taking volume but on closer inspection would often be blocking or deflecting the majority. He also made heavy use of the southpaw jab, switch hitting, switching stances and lateral footwork to trap opponents while quickly changing directions. In these next clips you can see how JDM's has implemented these traits of Winkies. You can see in the older clips that JDM spends less time southpaw despite showing his like of switching at times, to now where it is his preferred stance. Now you can see the high guard in action from both Winky and JDM. In MMA the high guard has more flaws than boxing but it can be used well. It leaves you vulnerable to takedowns as your hips are exposed, even worse if you are in a lateral stance at the time. It also leaves your body exposed for savvy opponents. I would suggest any of JDM's future opponents go and watch Alvarez vs Gathier and Holloway vs Volkanovski too for some examples of countering the high guard. Lastly, have a look at how JDM has finished 3 of his 4 UFC fights. JDM throws his rear hand regardless of his current stance then switches and hits with his lead hand which then becomes his rear hand in his new stance as his foot lands. He can either adopt a new stance or step square allowing him to quickly pivot like he did against Randy Brown. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if JDM can make it to the top.